Can't sleep. With all the racket those two are making, I doubt anybody could sleep through that. <sighs> Do they really not realize that we can hear every damn thing they're doing? It's because it's so peaceful out here. It's impossible to ignore. But every single night? That's just... Well, I'm not bothered. But I'll talk to Aileen on your behalf. I'll tell her she ought to share. Hey, I don't want to share. I just... Oh, come on. I'm just looking out for you. Your boyfriend's out there getting juiced by some bimbo every night. And you're telling me that doesn't bother you? <laughs> to be honest, I'm less and less certain about what I want anymore. I know he isn't Hunter. Of that much, I've always been certain. But every time he fills me up with his divine power, I feel guilty somehow. For one short instant, it's like I forget everything. That means you're starting to enjoy it, Inase. You can't just listen to your heart. You've got to listen to your body too, you know? Every time we do it, Aero says he's filling me up with his divine power. But somehow, I always feel like it's not power, but him. Himself that's finding a way inside me. Maybe I knew Hunter's soul better than anybody else. But it's Eros's body that I'm more familiar with now. More than any other. The way things are now. If I ever do get my wish and bring Hunter back, how will I ever be able to face him? I'm afraid that even this wish is slowly starting to fade. What a downer this night turned out to be. I don't know how things used to be between you and Hunter, but even if things have changed, the only thing you can do is accept the fact. Say goodbye to what's past and embrace the here and now. Isn't that what folks always do? Moving onwards and upwards? Let's suppose you succeeded in getting Hunter back. You'd still have to accept the way things are now, right? Even if your relationship had changed, that wouldn't be something to be sad about. All you can do is try to make the best choice as the situation requires it, right? But who knows what's best? Nobody does, so it's useless to dwell on it too much. It's up to you to decide. You have to live for the moment. What's wrong with that? <laughs> of course you'd say that, Cartier. In that case, I've always wanted to ask, why did you decide to come with us? I was the one who originally hired you. And now I'm doing what I can to bring back Hunter. But for you, I'm not paying you anymore. So what do you get out of this? I forgot. I never told you. Actually, I swiped the relic just so I could sell it on the black market. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. It was just the best choice to make as the situation required. Don't be mad, Inase. So what changed your mind in the end? <laughs> well, Eros caught me red-handed, you see. Then he gave me a taste of his divine power, and it was... <laughs> well, you know. Ah, so that's what happened. Yep. He told me he was putting me under a binding spell, so I'd never betray him. Uh, what? He can do that? Is it possible that he's done the same to me? I doubt it, because after we got the second relic, he released me from the spell. When Eros found me, he said he still needed me to find the next relic. Since we'd found it, he didn't need me anymore, so he set me free. Wasn't he afraid that you might steal the relic again? Seems like once the seal was lifted, he could sense the relic's location, so it would have been useless to steal it again. But, Cartia, you're still here? Well... Things haven't been looking so good for me after that kerfuffle with Princess Roof blew up. Guess I'm in need of divine protection for the moment. You don't think this will just land you in even more trouble? Look, I'll be straight with you. There is another reason. He's not got me in a bind anymore, but... The pleasure that came with being under his power... That's what I can't escape from. You... what? You're telling me that's the real reason you're still here? <laughs> Don't act all surprised, Inase. From one gal who lives in the moment to another. Don't you think this is my best option? <laughs> yeah. 
I shouldn't have expected any less from you, Cartia. But I'm still somewhat surprised. Not about you, but about Eros. After all, nobody bat an eye if you just waltzed away from our mission here. I thought he'd at least have done something to keep you from walking out. Hmm. Seems like he got a lot of his memories back after the second relic was unsealed. That legend you told us appears to be accurate. He defeated all those goddesses during the Great War of the Deities, then took them as his concubines. And in the end, they got him back by locking him under the seals. Looks like some of these memories have got him a little shook up. Shook up? Eros? I mean, for him, it must have been like he'd taken them prisoner at first. But after spending so many days together, he really began to see them as family. To feel like they had a real emotional connection going on. After the war, the goddess's bodies were too frail to sustain them. They had to find human vessels for their souls to live and rest up in. Eros had planned to let them all go eventually, so he used his divine powers to restore their bodies. He never expected that the first thing they'd do after getting their strength back would be to trap him under those seals. So that's what's got him all shaken up? Well, that's how it looks to me. Maybe it's because of all of this that he's decided not to twist my arm into anything unnecessarily. If that's the case, how come we can sense where the relics are located? And what's driving us to go find them? I feel as if those goddesses inside us, if they really do exist, they're the ones leading us to do their bidding. But then again, why would they want us to be helping Eros? Beats me. I guess we'll have to wait for them to wake the hell up before we can ask them, right? Nobody knows, so there's no use worrying about it, huh? <laughs> You're getting the hang of it now. That said, Cartia, when did Eros tell you all this? It's the first I'm hearing of any of it. I thought we'd all been together since we got out of the city. <laughs> <laughs> you must have been sleeping pretty deep these last few nights, princess. Else you'd have been overhearing me as well as Aileen. Cartier, you, you... Like I said, you should go ask for your turn on the booking, Bronco. This is your rodeo, after all. What? No, I... Uh... You two still up? Yep. Next time you go for a nighttime stroll, you should try to keep your footsteps a little quieter. Otherwise, you'll wake an Elsie here, and I'll have to put up with her kvetching all over again. Shut up! <laughs> I will not! I didn't say that! Permission to leave me alone here? 